Well, we got a package. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Take a look on that. All right, boys, we got a package that I want to open with you today. And uh, this is something special. We finally got our hands on one of the first produced Bidex hacks. So let's dive into this and let's see what we do get here. So, first things first, we do have a big power supply here. Let's take a look on this one. So this seems to be like a 12 volt, 8 amps power supply. That's good. It's big. It's, it's not heavy. It's uh, just big. Okay, so then we do have a plug here. This one I can't really use. And we do have a small antenna here. All right, now, let's see. Let me get out the foam. I was told to be very, very careful with the packaging. So let me see how I can get this out here without damaging anything. Well, with the rest of it to get it out here. Oh, this is really tight in there. Okay. There we go. The beauty rises. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Take a look on that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. All right, you might have noticed somewhere up here is uh, the wording advertisement. The uh, reason being for this is this unit here got sent over to me from Tiny Chip Hub, a producer from China who told me that they want me to review this unit and show it to you. So in the video description you will find a link which is actually an affiliate link. So I do earn on this, full disclosure. I always think it's nice to tell you people everything what's going on in the background so that you might not get confused about anything here. So, just saying that, so now things are out here and you do know why we do have this unit here in the hands. This one right here is the BIDX HEX. So this is the BIDX version with six, so six ASIC chips underneath the heatsink. We do have this massive heatsink here and two massive coolers. I bet this unit will be really good cried because it's massive. And uh, yeah, so this unit here, comes up to like 3, 3.2 terahash at the best, I'd say. I usually it will hover around 2.7 to 3 terahash. And from the power consumption, we should be sitting at like 60 to yeah, 65 watts. So let me screw in here the Wi-Fi antenna. And after that, I want to get myself the power measuring unit. All right, here we do have a power measuring unit. Now I need an extension cord to plug this in. All right, let's get the measuring unit in here. And now I need another cable for this one here. Shouldn't be an issue, but let me quickly get this out of here. Guys, I'm sorry if this is a little bit messy. It's just, you know, this arrived like a second ago. Man, I need to review this. It's, it's absolutely stunning. So uh, let me maybe talk a little bit more about this unit and why I do think it's absolutely beautiful to have this in my hands. So first things first, this one is the version 303. It is not the final version, I'd say. So it might be that there will be a version 304 before we officially see like, you know, the, the, the official tag from OSMU, like, okay, this now is the official unit. Tiny Chip Hub did an amazing job. They got and they dived deep into the OSMU Discord and what we do and all those things that we have shared 
to figure out how to build this unit and now they're selling them at the website for $3.99 per unit a couple bucks more if you want to get it in this beautiful enclosure all right here we go so now i do have the cable here with me but as i said so tiny chip hub they figured out how to actually produce this unit and get it working i mean it is perfect and the bidex hex basically is working even in the version that we do have right now it is just more of like a Mm, you'd say a couple tiny changes that might need to be done before we can approve like with a stem all right this is now the final version that we want to be produced it's more like uh, yeah just the little last steps so let me plug it in first time ever for me let's zoom in here for you guys um, so here is the power cord and let me let me quickly please appreciate this look it is open, obviously, and uh, as you do see, plenty, plenty of parts are on this device here. So it might be a nightmare to sort of this on your own. And uh, yeah, that's the reason being why I collab with Tiny Chip Hub in order to get this out to you. And they are kind of, not, not kind of, they are the first one who are actually selling BitX hexes. As I said, most of the distributors and producers are waiting for the final approval from OSMU, but they said, you know what, it is working, we can make it work and we can make it beautiful, so let's do this. Let me plug it in. And let's take a look on the power consumption in just a second. So it's ramping up, we are currently sitting at like 4.6 watts. And let me hop over to the web UI. Let me quickly set it up so that we get an immediate look on the power consumption of this device as soon as this one is hashing. All right, and now paste it in the credentials and everything else. Let me wait for just a second and uh, let me click on the reboot button. So we do have so we do have uh, tiny buttons in here. Uh, let me see, the left one is for reset and the right one is for the boot. Let me click on reset. Let's see. And now let's take a look on the power consumption that we actually draw from the power meter. So it should connect in just a second. I do have my own node running here at home. And if you do want to dive into this section of how to run your own node at home and how to run your own pool from home, just watch one of my other videos where I explain to you how you can use Umbrel to run your own public pool instance at home. Really, maybe it didn't save. So let me take a second look on the web UI. Alrighty, here we go. Now it should be working. Let me click on restart and Let's take a look on the power consumption. It should now be connecting. 7 watts, 14, 61, 66, 64. Beautiful, beautiful. So as I said, it's sitting at like 60 watts. So 64.5 watts, 65 watts, currently seeing this one here. And obviously, also like the BitX hacks comes into this handy territory of just being tiny enough to sit on your actual desk and Let's hop over to the PC and let's take a quick look or let me let me show you in here a quick look on how this looks. Uh, we're sitting at 2.8 terahash right now and uh, I should uh, try to get this in, in the camera view as well. I mean, with, with the BitX hacks, uh, as I said, we're sitting at like 60 70 watts something ish in between there it is beautiful working it is hashing right away it is a little bit uh, confusing the components that are built on the board right now they do not take into account a couple other components so the power consumption that you do see on the web ui might be a little bit different from what you actually draw like there's a difference of like 20 15 to 20 watts depending on yeah on, on how much power you use but it is actually working and it is hashing right away sitting at like 2.5 terahash here currently let me take a look on the settings where we see 
sitting here. Um, so from the version, yeah, they, they do have the version 207 on it. I need to flash another version onto it just to have a more beautiful UI for it. But this unit is working and it is hashing. It's, it's just amazing. I, I can't wait to see more manufacturers jumping onto the section of actually producing hardware which does have plenty of capability. And with these three, roughly three terahash that we do see here from this unit, it's just a bummer. And it's not really that big. You can actually have this on your desk sitting somewhere, maybe something like that or on the side. It's just a beautiful eye catcher, isn't it? I mean, the heat sink, it gets a little bit warm, but there's it. these two fans, they're not really that loud. I mean, let me take them to, to the microphone. Yeah, they are not really that loud. I hold the fans straight into the microphone. It is just beautiful. Yeah, that's it for today's video. If you do enjoy it, consider subscribing to this channel and give me a thumbs up so that I do know that you enjoy this content and you want to see more of this beautiful content. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.